Shalom everyone. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit disgusting, uh, so if there's children around, please don't let them watch this video, okay? And if you are squeamish or easily triggered, I would ask that you please just skip this video, okay? Watch the Happy New Year video that I did about two weeks ago, okay? Uh, that only got like eight views. I mean, come on folks, I'm not doing this for my health, alright? But this week, I learned that some reality TV star uh, decided to make some extra income. So she started passing gas into jars and selling them online. Uh, now, she made $200,000 doing this. And when I heard this, I had a few thoughts. My first thought was, I'm in the wrong business. My second thought was, I hope those are some really, really nice jars. And my third thought was about the Mark of the Beast. Now, I realize that there is kind of a big disconnect between buying other people's indigestion and worshiping Satan, but, but hear me out on this, okay? According to the Bible, without that mark, the Mark of the Beast, you can't buy or sell. You can't take part in commerce. You can't uh, participate in the marketplace. And the book of Revelation says that the children of God, the followers of Christ, uh, will refuse to get that mark. And that mark, as described, is either going to be a mark on your hand or on your forehead, which could be fingerprints or retinal scan. But regardless... What goes hand in hand with receiving that mark is worshiping the Antichrist, which Christians will refuse to do. Now, we may not be at the mark of the beast physically, but sometimes I feel like we're already in it culturally. We're already in it ethically. Because think about it. In order to have a market, you have to have two things for any kind of market. You need a buyer and you need a seller. Now, maybe you already heard about this reality star's little side business, but whether you already knew about it or you're just hearing it from me, let me ask you something. What was your reaction when you heard about it? It was probably the same as mine, right? I don't want to buy that. And you would be correct. You have a lot of company. But... That is the world's system for you. But fine, forget about her for a minute. Let me ask you, what else does the world want to sell us? The world wants to sell us on materialism, racism, drugs, violence, pornography, gambling, greed, and selfishness. Now let me ask you, as a follower of Christ, do you want to spend your hard-earned money on any of that? I certainly don't. You see, we don't want to buy what the world is selling. Conversely, what do we as Christians have to offer the world? Integrity. Truth. Honesty. Thrift modesty, the love of Christ and his wisdom. Any takers out there? Hmm? Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. You see, the world doesn't want to buy what we're selling. So you're left with nobody buying, nobody selling. No transaction, no commerce, no market. Now, if you were expecting some kind of solution from me for all of this, you are going to be very disappointed. Because I have no solution for this. I'm not sure that there is one. All we can do is be aware of what's happening.
We need to be awake. We need to have our eyes and our ears open. Events are looking more and more like the book of Revelation every day, don't they? And folks, this is no time to run away from God in frustration. In fact, it's the exact opposite. We need to run toward God in desperation. Because it's only through the strength of God that we can endure this. We cannot do this on our own. So please run to God. Get into a Bible-believing church. Get plugged into the community of believers. I thank you for watching, and may God bless you.